Fantastic. So we can see you through Adobe uh, very well, and we can hear you yeah. through Skype. And you can oh. see your slides, I think. Oh. Perfect. Go okay. ahead. Thanks. Speak loudly, though. Can I start now? Yes, please. Okay, first of all, I am very grateful to this EVO team for providing such a nice platform for all teachers to interact and learn from each other. Thank you so much for this platform. And I am Sonika from India. I teach in a private progressive school. We believe in child-centered curriculum where we design things for children and their children. And uh, I teach grades four. Strength is 28 to 32 students per class. My students uh, are of nine to 10 years old. English is second language for them. And uh, I'm very glad to share that except two new admission students, rest of my learners, they already participated in an action research as co-researchers when they were in grade three with me as the English teacher. And uh, here I teach three sections of grade four, but this time I could include only two sections because of time constraints. So this data, whatever I'm going to share, that is based on only two sections data collection. Next slide, please. Okay. These are my exploratory research questions. As a teacher who is Sorry, already involved and people are making choices in the class, so I had, but I assume that I, I had pretty good idea about students learning and growth. So, but still, whatever I was assured about, that was how can I make grammar lab classes interesting and effective. For this overall question, the sub-questions were, do children find grammar classes interesting and effective? What about reading, writing, and spelling classes? Are these classes also interesting and effective for children? What do my colleagues think about this? And what are the ways to make grammar classes interesting? These were the basic questions with <coughs> which I started this research. And I, I was just thinking aloud for all these questions. What can I do in the classroom and how can we make it more effective for children? Next slide, please. Here is data of class 4D. When children were asked to share their opinion about the skills we are doing in the classroom, and here what they shared is interest children were taking interest in all of the grammar writing and reading classes. They really enjoyed that. And here what they shared that, yeah, they were pretty interested in grammar classes. And at the same time, if you see the difficult areas to learn, grammar was interesting for them. And at the same time, grammar was quite difficult for them to learn also. And reading was not at all difficult for them. It was interesting and it was not at all difficult for them. Previous like this. And here, and here, but they shared, they liked all the subjects, all the areas, and writing was, that was difficult for them, but grammar was more difficult. Next. In another section, that was for test, mm -hmm. children mm -hmm. found reading mm -hmm. to be very interesting, grammar mm -hmm. was interesting, mm -hmm. and very less children shared that all, all the areas are very interesting. But at the same time, if you can see, they found grammar to be quite easy to learn, but writing was quite difficult for them to understand. So here what I found that I assume that grammar classes are those where children must be facing problems, where they must be finding it least interesting or something else. But here with class 4F, this data really gave me an insight about children's learning that grammar was interesting also and it was easy also, but at the same time writing was something which was bothering them. On the basis of this data, I asked children to give me feedback in return. So all the children gave feedback to me. And I talked to my colleagues also. Next slide, please. After talking to my colleagues and analyzing the feedback given by students, my findings are, I was really overgeneralizing the struggles faced by children. Because it, as a teacher, whatever I could sense, whatever I could understand, that majorly on surface level the children are facing uh, the children are finding grammar lessons to be less interesting but when this data was collected i really realized that no not only grammar in other section grammar is going fine but they are finding writing to be quite difficult to understand at the same time 
uh, as a teacher, I had a pretty good idea about reading classes because all the children shared that reading was really interesting to engage with and as a skill, reading for comprehension, all the children were comfortable in that. Very less children shared that it was very difficult for them. Otherwise, all of them were pretty interested in that and they were quite confident about comprehension also. So I felt really good about this. And after that, Next slide. Uh, sorry, I lost connection. It's yeah, okay. it's, yeah, it's yeah, it's okay. now. Okay, we can we can hear you. Don't worry, carry on. Okay, previous slide, slide please. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, uh, what I found that children really enjoyed worksheets. It was not that worksheets were boring for them or less engaging, but at the same time, these letters really wanted more games. They wanted more worksheet grammar classes. It's not that existing sheets were boring. I'm here. It was just that they wanted more to do. They wanted some games. And the most interesting finding for me was children suggested excursion to the As learners, they really voice out their choices in a way that of excursions in environmental science to learn better and school better. So from that kind of learning, which is suggested this thing to me, that it will be having excursions in English classes also, that is really going to help them learn better and school better in English classes. So I open for Next slide, please. And as a person, as a facilitator, uh, as a teacher, I could really question my observations to the attention. As a teacher, so many things, so many successes, and lots of blunders and wonders, and so many things are there on our head. But just because of this action research, just because of the explanation part of my research, I could really check that my observations to be really. I was saying and thinking that only grammar part is publicly where I need to work on it. But when I connected with the writing part was also difficult for some of the To hear the diversity I am dealing with, the kind of different learners, different comfort level of students in the classroom, I could really like that. And uh, with this data only I got insights from my learners. That is the first hand data for me. Direct data from students and sites and how can we modify and design tasks for writing lesson content so that we can learn better. And when I talked to my colleagues, all four of us agreed that yes, children were struggling in the grammar, but they didn't share it earlier. When I talked to them, then they shared their concerns with me. And only one of my colleagues shared that yes, children were facing struggle in writing blank questions. And now, as a co-researcher in the class, I have got insights to this research that next phase is to implement and the changes in my pedagogy. Luckily, I am this year also to communication and practice. Now these learners are in grade 5. And luckily, I am again their English teachers. So me and my learners we are aware to work and learn together once more. And all the insights are so much from their life. I am also sharing this with the next class teacher who will be teaching them English. But now when it is clear that I am the same teacher, I will be continuing with them. So I have
second feedback, the first feedback that the child has written, it is about the success in the English classroom. The child will be left in English reading and writing. The third reading is played with how English as a language. It is like a